This past month has been filled with a lot of new releases from coding agents to large language models. The Quen team, in fact, had released their game-changing model called the Quen 3. The Quen 3 is a game-changing open-source large language model family from the Quen team. It's designed to rival up against top-tier models like DeepSeek R1 as well as Croc 3 and Gemini 2.5 Pro. But that's not even the best part. They now release their own web developer that turns any sort of prompt into whatever you want to create from websites to fully functional applications. Now I already made a video on the main channel that showcases this, but there's now a new upgrade to the Quen web dev agent. It just got even better where you can go ahead and send in any sort of prompt and it will create anything for you and then deploy it for you as well. It is where you can let your creativity shine and you can have it so that you can build anything based off of the natural language prompt that you send in. Now to get started, it's super simple. Head over to Quen's chatbot, Quen Chat, and what you want to do is create an account either with your Gmail account or with just a regular email. And you can do this completely for free and you'll be sent over to the main chatbot. You want to go ahead and select the main Quen 3 235B parameter model, the largest model, which is the top performing one, and you need to go ahead and select web dev. This is where you can go ahead and send in any sort of prompt like creating a website and the web dev agent will work with you to autonomously create it. So you can see the code is being generated live in action and you will be able to see a live preview of it on the right hand side. Before we get started, I just want to mention that you should definitely go ahead and subscribe to the World of AI newsletter. I'm constantly posting different newsletters on a weekly basis. So this is where you can easily get up to date knowledge about what is happening in the AI space. So definitely go ahead and subscribe as this is completely for free. And there we go. Just like that, we had requested it to create a personal website for a software engineer, including sections such as personal information. We got the about us page generated, the education, the projects and the contact us page. This was all generated in a single shot prompt. And you can see that it did a pretty good job generating this without even enabling thinking mode. To give you some context, this model is a hybrid thinking model that has two different modes. You have the thinking mode, which is where in this mode, the model takes time to reason step by step before delivering the final answer. This is ideal for complex problems that require deeper thought. And in this case, you would get better generations outputted as the agents thoroughly work together to output the best content. The non-thinking mode is what we saw in terms of getting this generation. It does get the job done pretty well and it does it pretty fast. But if you want it to take a step further, you would want to enable the thinking mode to get a better generation. And now guys, with this new feature, you'll see this deploy button. You can simply click on it and you can deploy it to your own website with uh, the one that Quen provides. Or you can connect it to your own private uh, link. So this way you can share whatever has been generated by the AI with others. So what we're going to do next is have it create a responsive task management web app with the following features, a calendar view, simple UI, rather than simple, we'll just say a task list UI, an option to mark tasks as complete and extra tasks. So what I'm also going to say is uh, bring in creativity to make this app even better. And what we're going to do is enable the thinking mode. So it takes a longer time to get a better generation. So let's see what it's actually capable of doing. In this case, you can see the token budget has already been set, which is the max amount. And it is working on thoroughly making a plan to generate this app for us. Now, just to give you some context as to how much this model was thinking before responding with the generation, this is me scrolling through live in action. It's not being sped up. I'm actually scrolling through all the different reasoning thoughts that was taking place to generate the code, which you'll see in a couple of seconds. Right now it is working on generating the code and it was probably taking approximately, I would say four minutes to generate that uh, thinking process. But now it is working on uh, generating the code and I'll showcase what it had generated on the right hand side once it's complete. And there we go. It wrote 647 lines of code. And this is the generation we got. We have this task manager app that has a functional dark and light mode, which is awesome. The calendar we had requested has been generated. 
task statistics, which showcases the total tasks, pending tasks, as well as the completed ones. It filters and sorts all of them as well, which is awesome. And you can see the highlighted color with each section. And then you also have this drop down menu, which helps us. Now, guys, what you can do if you want to deploy it is by simply click on this button and click on the deploy button. And now, if you have set it as public, anyone with the link can access it. So, if I am to take a look at this in a full browser preview, you'll see our app is now shareable and you can now have it so that other people can access our site. This is the ideal tool you would want to use to help you prototype and build any structure of your website or app. It is going to help you in terms of generating the base structure and save you hours. This is something that would probably take a lot of time for someone who is getting started or even if you are a pro. It would take some time to set up the main structure and add all these components into your web page. But that is why you would want to use this. I highly recommend that you use the thinking world so that you can get better generations outputted. But that's basically it guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video on the new update which focuses on generating high quality web pages as well as having the ability to deploy the app that you create. With that thought guys, I'll leave all these links in the description below. You can easily get started completely for free. Make sure you go ahead and join the newsletter, join our Discord, follow me on Twitter, and lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and please take a look at our previous videos. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day, spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.